In this mini tutorial we're going to think about how we can use titrations to help us work out the concentration of a particular substance of interest. We do this by reacting the substance of interest with another substance that it reacts with until all of our substance is consumed. We know that this has happened by using some kind of indicator that changes colour when all of our substance of interest has been used up by the reaction. So if we imagine for example that we have a beaker containing um, a solution of that contains some sodium carbonate. But the question is how much is in there? We think there's some present but we don't know how much. So what we can do is add something like hydrogen chloride to the solution and keep adding the hydrogen chloride until the solution changes colour if we use a suitable indicator. And at that point we know all of the sodium carbonate has been consumed. The important thing is to measure how much hydrogen chloride we're adding and we can use that known amount to then calculate the unknown amount of sodium carbonate that is present. So how do we do that? Well let's imagine that we've got this solution and we've added 15.8 mils of a 0.4 molar hydrogen chloride solution. So we've got 15.8 mils of a 0.4 molar solution. And once we added, got to the 15.8 mils, the indicator changed colour to tell us that all of the sodium carbonate in the solution had been consumed. So the first thing is to think, well, how much hydrogen chloride have we added? So how many moles have we added? And we can use our relationship that the amount in moles represented by N is equal to the concentration times volume. So our concentration is 0.4 moles per litre. And our volume is 15.8 mils. As is usually the case in these kind of calculations, we're working in litres, not mils. So we can convert this to litres by multiplying by 10 to the minus 3 times 10 to the minus 3. Oops. There we go. It's a bit skew with, but I think you can see what I mean. So that's our calculation. And when we work this through, we end up with a value of 6.32 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. In fact, if I just write in this, that's litres. That litre there cancels with the litres just there to leave us with the units of moles. So we've added 6.32 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of hydrogen chloride to our solution. And that's how much reacted with the sodium carbonate. But the question is, how much sodium carbonate actually reacted? To answer this question, we then need to look at the equation for the reaction. So hydrogen chloride reacts with sodium carbonate to give us sodium chloride and carbon dioxide and water. Now if we look at this equation, the stoichiometry of the equation, we can see that for every mole of sodium carbonate that reacts, two moles of hydrogen chloride have reacted to the stoichiometry of the reaction is 2 to 1. So we've already worked out that 6.32 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of hydrogen chloride reacted. If it reacts in the ratio 2 to 1, it must mean that half the number of moles of sodium carbonate reacted. So the number of moles of um, sodium carbonate that reacted is simply 6.32 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 2. And the, uh, the value of that is 0 0.00316 moles. So that tells us the number of moles uh, of sodium carbonate that was actually present in the solution in the first place. Now if we imagine that we actually had a 50 mils of our, of our sample that contained the sodium carbonate, we can then 
calculate the, the actual concentration of the sodium carbon at present. So we had 50 mL starting solution. We can use our relationship that the, the number of moles is concentration by volume. We know the volume and we know the number of moles. So you arrange, rearrange the equation to get our own known term C. So the concentration is the number of moles divided by the volume, which is the 3.16 times 10 to the minus 3. Oops. Divided by the volume. We've said it's 50 mils. Again, we have to work in litres. 0.05 litres. So it's moles on the top, litres on the bottom. And that gives us a volume, a value rather, of 0.0632 moles per litre. So we can say that in our sample, the concentration of sodium carbon at present is present at a concentration of 0.0632 moles per litre.